we were talking about guys that uh the guys that didn't play against Portland that might get cut and um you know another one of those kind of training camp battles was the starting point guard position or the third point guard position <laughs> there was no ifs ands or buts about the starting point guard position but that third point guard position on the roster was very much a two man battle between Matthew Della Vadova and Quinn Cook and i think both of us kind of felt like Della Vadova had the edge but there was reason to believe. I know James Ham kind of posited at the beginning, although I know James Ham's opinion of Della Vadova has really changed since getting to know him and seeing him in the, on, on the practice floor. But, um, you know, there were re- reasons to believe that maybe Qu- Quinn Cook with his three-point shooting um, and better injury history could be the, the guy. But Della Vadova seems like he'll be that guy um, by all, you know, uh, appearances. Um, and he's I, he's just good for that. He's just he, we were talking about it. I mean, like he's got a little bit better size than Cook, although not exceptional. But it's really what you like about him is the way he plays, the way he communicates, the leadership. He's such a you see him out there playing with like Keita, uh, Ellis. I mean, he's out there with like Baysmore last night. But it's just like <laughs> I don't know. You just kind of feel like he's babysitting. And it's not like that's no disrespect to Keita and Ellis, but they're not NBA players. Uh, Ellis is. I think going to be an NBA player probably in a year or two. Um, Keita, he's coming along. Um, we'll see. Um, he definitely has a lot of confidence, Nemus Keita. I mean, he's a, he's a confident dude. But, um, you know, they could be NBA players soon, but they're not NBA players now. So it's just like you have Adele Vadova out there. And I don't know. I just I just feel like he's a good he's, – just, he's perfect for that role. And in a locker room presence too, I think that could be – huge thing so you know i don't know quinn cook played for stockton last year maybe that's a pipeline thing where he'll go play in stockton again um you know that that could be the thing um as with merrill and maneke too they 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 may very well end up there unless i think i think they'd be free to grab but uh if that doesn't happen i would imagine they'd be in stockton but um delvado was the guy and uh like I said, it was kind of what we expected, but I don't know if there was any, if there's anything that surprised you about Del Vadova or anything like that, or Cook. I think what I'm going to add to this is that I think Del Vadova is just better fit for a third string point guard role. Mm-hmm. And I say that, and it's going to sound like I'm dogging on him a little, but it really isn't. He just, so like Quinn Cook, he was in Stockton last year. And he, if you look at his Stockton stats, they were super good. And so I just see Quinn Cook a little more as a guy hungrier to prove it in this league still, a little more than Del Vadova, where Del Vadova knows like he's like if he got this role, he'd be third string, a locker room guy, kind of like a teacher like that. Where I think Cook, like I think it'd be harder to put Cook at that third string spot. Like if I you're asking me who my second string point guard is, I'd rather have Cook than Del Vadova, personally. But as a third string guy, you want Del Vadova, a guy with championship experience, a guy with leadership qualities, right? Or Cook, he just seems like, to me personally, is that he still wants to prove it that he can make it in this league. And maybe if you throw him out on the floor, he's going to do too much. Or Del Vadova, you know, he's just going to play it smart. He's going to play it cool. And so that's why, that's why I kind of always like Del Vadova at the three or as the third string point guard over Cook. Mm. But you know, n- nothing against Cook. I just think for that role, it's such a specific role and a role that's not going to see a lot of time on the floor. I just think Della Vadova will provide more quality minutes than Cook. Like I'm saying, I think Cook would be your better second string, but as a third string, I think Della Vadova fits it a little better. He just, I think, yeah, I think he would just be more cool and collected. And I think you're, to you know, to kind of add to that point that uh, Della Vadova is just a better fit. Um, if like Fox or Mitchell misses some time, like Della Vadova would slide up to the number two, but it's not like you'd see him in a heavy dose. There's so many ball handlers on this team. Um, I mean, like, of course you'd want to have a floor general out there. That seems like an important thing. So Della Vadova would get his time, but it's not like he'd be the primary guy, obvious, uh, all of a sudden in pick and roll things. He would definitely be still playing that leadership role. And the idea that having, you know, whoever the other point guard is that didn't get hurt, having Kevin Herter and Malik Monk as guys that can, you know, handle the ball in the two-man game. 
Terrence Davis was showing last night that he could do it, you know, and you also have Murray and Barnes even, and like the ball handling thing's not going to be really an issue. So it's like that even makes it, you know, even when Delavadova slides up to number two, which I would imagine would happen a few times, no, you know, nobody plays, not everybody plays 82 games. Um, I think in that way, just the way the roster is constructed, the ability for so many guys to play on ball, like it won't force Delavadova to do too much. And it probably helps him too, that he's got that mentality where he's just, he knows his role and cook would know his role too, but I think you're hundred percent right. Um, and that's kind of also, uh, uh, like another thing that was kind of interesting going into it was, it's just like, that just kind of, that really added to it. It's just like, yeah, but like, let's think about this really like, Cook was probably you can probably make the argument that Cook is the better overall player, but Della Vidova, his intangibles, um, his on floor presence, like I said, the way he's communicating and talking to everybody. I feel like there are a few times in the game against Portland, it's just like whenever he's on the screen and in between plays or as a timeout, going into a timeout, coming out of a timeout, he's talking to some younger guy. Um and uh, you know, that's just that's what you want to see especially if with a coach like Mike Brown is talking all the time. So yeah, I think Della Vadova is, is just a better fit for the role and the team.